Hey guys, David Dodge back out here at 2816 Chippewa. This is a storage unit building that we bought. We have been working on adding units to it. Uh, we bought this building for 200,000. We borrowed 215,000 from a private lender, 200 for the purchase, 15 to do a little bit of rehab. But let's go do a quick tour and I'll show you guys some of the updates we've made. Hey guys, David Dodge back out here at 2816 Chippewa. This is a storage unit building that we bought and uh, we have been working on adding units to it. Uh, we bought this building for 200,000. We borrowed 215,000 from a private lender, 200 for the purchase, 15 to do a little bit of rehab. And I just wanna make this video today to give you guys a quick update on how it's coming and how it's looking. It doesn't look like the prettiest building from the outside. Um, but that's okay, it's for storage, it's storage purposes. There are a couple tenants that use the building um, for storage. There are a couple tenants that use the building um, to actually run their business out of and actually have like a commercial space for the most part. Uh, but let's go do a quick tour and I'll show you guys some of the updates we've made. All right, as we enter, we have two units, on the one on the left, one on the right. There is a stairway going down and then there is a hallway going straight back and there is larger units on the right, a couple here on the left. There is one bathroom in this building. It is right here to the left. And we didn't really do much to this main floor other than clean up just some of the stuff. We still got a little bit of excess stuff here in the back area. You do have a freight elevator here and a garage door that goes out to the back alleyway. Got a, some random stuff here. Let's go kind of take a look at the back of the building. We have a trash can dumpster for the tenants. So you got a brick building. It's definitely an older area, older building in an older area. Looks like we have a daycare right next door. And they have their dumpster locked up. We do not. The building doesn't have any windows. It's kind of hard to see from here, but they're, they've all been closed off. And, um, you know, pretty straightforward. The upstairs, again, we have not done a whole lot of work to the upstairs. Really just decluttering it, cleaning stuff. The downstairs is where I'm gonna take you next. It's actually go this way, is where we've done the majority of the work on this building. Again, we did borrow an additional 15,000 and we are using that to just basically build a few walls. Here's the lower area. Still some random stuff, but from the time that when we bought it until now, we've actually made quite a lot of progress on the building. So these walls on the left and straight ahead are newer. And this was all just kind of open space down here. So here will be one unit. Still got to do a little cleaning, but we put some little unit numbers up. Here's B8, we got B9. Here's another unit. So nothing special, but they're just storage units. They're just, you know, walls and floors and clean. And we'll do a little bit of painting and cleaning to them. Here's unit B10 that we added. This one here is kind of a longer unit. So they're all kind of, you know, different shapes and sizes. Still got to add some door hardware. We did add motion sensor lights. So we could keep the utility cost down, which is gonna be helpful. And then if we turn around the left over here, you can see that we've got B1. All right, I walked down the hallway, turned the light on. Still gotta work on that switch up there, but we built a wall. Um, actually, this wall was here and we did some work on this wall. There's another unit here that we added B11. B12 and B, well, it's now B13, but it was four, three and four, we had to renumber them. So we're still in the process of working on this. This is definitely not done. 
you can see that you know there's still some work that we need to do with drywall and cleaning and painting um i'm pretty sure we leased this unit so you know this is what they kind of look like when you have them leased they just get filled up with stuff people's stuff here's b6 this is a larger unit which looks good one of the things that we did as well down here is we added these smart thermostats and put these protective boxes over them so the tenants can't come in here and you know rack up a really high electrical bill for us because um, you know as storage units this is a, a building that's heated and cooled so it's climate controlled um, and we're not necessarily wanting the tenants to um, you know turn it way down in the summer or way up in the winter uh, we will allow them to bring in, you know, fans or space heaters if they're going to be in the units working throughout the day. I believe the office hours, it's written on the door upstairs, is 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. that we will allow people to have access. And we've even given um, the tenants little key fobs. And on the main doors, they access the building using the key fob. So before 7 and after 10, that system shuts down and they won't be able to enter. Now, if they're in, they could leave, but they won't be able to come and come and go so, you know, so much after those hours. So we do have that in place. And we also have security cameras on site at the building, um, not in any of the individual units for privacy purposes. And there's really no reason for that, uh, but in the halls, on the front door, on the back door, in the back alley, we even have one up on the roof um, and we plan on adding solar panels to this building. I got a really good deal on some used solar panels recently um, that we're gonna be sticking up on the roof in the next couple of weeks when we can get around to, to doing that to offset some of the costs. So, you know, one of the way that you make money on these type of buildings is increase in rents. The other way is to decrease expenses. So we're going to be doing both with this project. So the goal would be to collect about somewhere between 3000 and 3500 a month on this property when it's all said and done. So again, just want to make you all a quick update video, show you one of the projects we're working on. This is a storage unit. It's in South St. Louis city and, um, you know, unique little, little project. Y'all have a good day. Talk to you soon.